¿Estás haciendo ese muñeco aquí? Sí. Ah, aquí está. It does really feel amazing to be right here. I'm just right outside the Ciudad Sportiva. We've been called in for at 10 a.m. and yeah, La Liga is back. It's been interesting this morning. I hope that I haven't forgotten anything. But the most important thing is to actually comply with all the security measures. It will for sure be the biggest change in the games that are remaining. I got my mask here. It is compulsory for us, obviously, to wear the mask. Well, not right now because I'm in my personal car, but from the moment that I leave this car and until I come back tonight at home it is compulsory for every one of us to be wearing the mask Here we go! Let's put the partial players in it We are now going to take out our temperature and then we're leaving for the airport I had saved this mask for the game, but it looks like we are all traveling with this other one. In any case, all players, staff, crew members, everyone is wearing the same mask. Well, it's big, pretty big. On board the flight, um, it's going to be a very short flight because we're just going to Mallorca, which is an island. It's only 30 minutes away by plane and from Barcelona, so we expect to be almost at the hotel in less than, than one hour, hopefully. It's such a beautiful uh, island on the Balearic Islands. I can't wait to show it to you. So it's 6 p.m. We're living in 45 minutes to Son Mosh, which is now called Visit Mallorca Stadium. And I like that very much, like the initiative called the Stadium Visit Mallorca to kind of incentivate tourism and reactivate tourism. I think that's good. I like the initiative. And it is absolutely true. It's so exciting and we are so happy to have football back finally. Not even these people out there in the beach are making us jealous. And sometimes they are like, Messi, Messi. I'm assuming maybe Messi went to balcony. Let's see. And here we are, this is Son Mosh. Look at this. It's a very beautiful stadium and yeah, so sad to think that it's going to be empty for the game. you need to know about interesting stuff about this special game for example the kits that the players are going to be wearing during the game it's not going to be one kit but two they will be changed during halftime and every time that a player takes off one kit it's going to go straight into disinfection to keep all that security measures up so the players do also have in the dressing room some hand sanitizer and they have to apply some every time that they are going to step on the pitch or that they go back to the dressing room three all people on the bench will be wearing gloves 
my god and a mask that's like the big things <laughs> So I don't know what people kind of imagine uh, the minutes before I'm going live into Barca Live, always streaming 45 minutes before kickoff on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, then we're switching to my center um, on Barca TV Plus, where by the way you have a full behind the scenes with all the players, their experience in this return of football. <laughs> Um, because Barca scored while I was just packing the stuff from Barca Live and I didn't like see it. I, I learned that Arturo Vidal uh, scored the goal um, with a, a crossbar from Jordi Alba, but I didn't actually see it. And the weirdest thing was to like not even realize there, there was a goal or it happened to be during the warm-up too. I was never realizing what was going on behind me because there was like no sound advice here. Um, this is like the most shocking thing I think that, that you get from these kind of situations. Um, it's really impressive to be honest. Neil 2 with Martin Braithwaite scoring his first goal with Barca. Yes. I'm putting the mask back on. I don't have to put it on while I am... Um, uh, live or speaking on camera or anything, but since when we move around, I think I feel like it's better uh, if we wear it. The camera is placed over here while well, usually they go to other places, like for example, there. Taking advantage of the fact that there is no public in here and there is no crowd, they can place the cameras wherever they want. So if they have like a better angle or a better view this way, they can place the camera wherever they feel like. <laughs> And here we are with the final goal by a Messi, that means nil four and we're taking the three points by home, meaning also that we will sleep five points ahead of Real Madrid. Well, that was um, the game for me, was kind of similar of the feeling you get when you see like a live play where you have live action happening in front of you, but you cannot really um, draw with anyone and you need to kind of remain silent. Well, we didn't miss you, but it's something that we just felt like. Um, I'm not saying that uh, obviously amazing last game with the possibility to win the Lalea title. Um, we would really need to to go and to go and take it and here and scream and celebrate. Taking three points back to Barcelona. what uh, Madrid does tomorrow and if we but at least we will be sleeping five points ahead of them so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like <laughs> you can subscribe to Barca TV channel so that you don't miss any video go see the behind the scenes on Barca TV plus and we'll see you soon bye